So you're a creator and you want to build yourself the best bank for buck creator PC and your budget is roughly around $1,500. Perhaps you can stretch it to about $2,200 as an upgrade. Then this video is the perfect video for you to check out to get the best performance for your budget as a creator. We're going to be talking through everything you need to know in order to get yourself built one. So if you have any doubt whether you can build it or what parts to choose, how to choose, what videos, what tutorials, everything you'll know after this video because I believe this is the best tutorial for creators when they want to build themselves a PC. CCL and their latest deals. If you're looking to upgrade your PC or buy the whole system, then CCL is constantly running deals on their products. Can't pay full price on the deal? Why not spread the cost over 24 months for 0% interest on products over £99? Use the code TN10 to get a special discount when spending over £250. Check out CCL and their latest deals in the video description below. So there's five very important points that I want to mention before I can actually mention the parts because otherwise the parts part won't make any sense. Number one, different budgets. This is a video in a four part video series and this is the second video in there. If your budget is less or more then I highly recommend you check out the closest video to your budget. There's going to be a bit higher end budget and one lower end as well. And also by the time you're watching this, hopefully the parts that I'm mentioning in this video have actually dropped even more in value. So you should be able to get this PC even cheaper than what I'm mentioning over here. So I recommend you checking out the latest pricing in the description below. Second, the build guide. You're thinking, yeah, great, thanks for telling me the parts, but how do I build this thing? Well, not to worry, I have created a very, very long tutorial going step by step how to build the PC. Everything you need to know, so it's linked in the description below. I highly recommend you check that out. After watching that video, you'll be thinking, do you know what? I can actually build the PC, and so you can just after watching that video you'll know number three all the configuration of operating system drivers configuring of fans bios updates software updates all of these things how do i actually set the pc up not to worry there's a video very long tutorial as well that you can check out in the description below if you've never done this before just put that video on follow the step-by-step -step guide and you can easily do it number four where can i get the parts from I have linked every single part that I'm talking about in the video description below. Just click that small arrow underneath the video. It will open up the video description and you'll see everything linked there. So before purchasing, make sure you do get the best price whichever store you're buying this from. And number five, the recommendations in the description below have upgrade, downgrade and recommendations. So just follow the little emojis next to it. It's just visually a little bit easier for you to follow. So you can get the upgrades if you want to. Just go with the recommendations recommendation or if there is a downgrade option check that one out but try to stay within the budget that I'm recommending if your budget is much less or much more than I'm recommending in here then pick the different video that's closer to your budget because I'm recommending different parts for different budget sections so you get the best performance for your budget now the PC parts let's go First of all, for the motherboard now, we're upgrading to Gigabyte Aero G Z690 DDR4 motherboard. Very important here, not DDR5, but DDR4, because this motherboard does have two options. You can go with DDR5 RAM or DDR4 RAM. We're going with the DDR4 one because DDR4 is still very, very affordable and available and the CPUs we have here support both. So this motherboard will give you four slots of M.2 storage, all of them PCIe Gen 4, very fast connectivity, Wi-Fi, front panel USB-C, front panel USB ports, very fast ports. So there's a lot of connectivity and it looks very nice as well, plus just very high quality as well and not that expensive. I like that it's a creator kind of themed, a little bit minimal. We're gonna keep the CPU the same as it is on the previous budget and it's the 13600K. It's a 14 core CPU, absolutely insane performance that is packed into this i5. If you don't have that much budget for the CPU, I highly recommend checking out 13500 as well. So it's not a K CPU, but 13500. It's maybe $70 cheaper, but it still is faster than the 12600K. So it's a little bit of a downgrade if you can't quite, you know, fit into this price range. 
but still gives you a lot, a lot of performance. In order to cool this CPU, we're gonna be using the Thermalbright PULS Assassin 120 SE cooler, which is roughly around 35, 36 dollars. Bear in mind, if you do have a color theme in mind, you can pick this cooler in different colors, so you can actually mix and match a little bit which co like color of this cooler you want. They all perform exactly the same, but there is really not a cooler that performs as well as this for the price point. For the SSD, we're upgrading the SSD to Team Group Kydea Z440 one terabyte drive. And I have recommended this drive for a lot, a lot of different builds on my channel. And the main reason for this is because of the terabyte written spec is super, super high in this, which you don't see in a lot of the other competitive drives there. Yes, it might be slightly more expensive than the competition, but as a creator, the terabyte written spec is so, so important. And with this drive, you get in insane spec for that. If you don't know what this means and how to configure your storage, I highly recommend you check out my tutorial for the storage workflow guide so you know what terabyte written means and which storage goes to where, what's cache, what's OS drive, what's archive drive, all of that. But for the SSDs, we're going to get two of these drives. So one of them is going to be OS drive, one of them is going to be project drive. So this way we can separate the drives a little bit and we get two terabytes of storage all together. For RAM, we're upgrading it to team group T Force Vulcan C and this is 64 gigabytes now 3600 mega transfers per second and this is going to give you a very good sweet spot where you're going to be having a lot of RAM this is not a bottleneck for you anymore for the upgrade you'll see you can upgrade this to 128 gigabytes as well but very very affordable only $170 for 64 gigabytes of DDR4 this is insane insane performance the GPU now we're upgrading to RTX 3060 the TI. So yes, we are going to be losing 4 gigabytes of VRAM compared to the 3060. And if you do think you do need the more VRAM, then go with the 3060. It's going to be a little bit cheaper as well. But this 3060 Ti is actually much, much faster in the computing power. So if you don't do a lot of 3D and perhaps you're just video editor or phot photographer, in fact, photographers just go with the cheapest GPU you can find in one of my earlier videos because that doesn't matter to you. But for video editors, and maybe 3D creators, you want as powerful and fast GPU as possible, then the 3060 Ti has quite a big jump over the 3060. If you want to know what's the performance difference between different GPUs, check out my RTX 30 series GPU benchmark video where I benchmarked every single 30 series B GPU. I'll leave it down below there as well. For the PSU, we're going to be using a 650 watt 80 plus cold power supply that's plenty to power all of our components and then a little bit more even. There's different models of the PSUs that are for the same price but same spec so I'll leave them in the description below as well so when you get the PSU check out the recommendations there as well to get the best performance for your money and the best you know price for the same performance basically and for the pc case we're going to leave it exactly the same as on the previous upgrade version which is the fractal design focus 2 it's a very nice minimal case you can get this in black and white variants so if you do want to mix it with the motherboard that's kind of in the white theme you can get the white as well there but for 85 dollars with two included 140 millimeter fans you're not gonna get a better quality and performance case there. Now, I do leave a few different options in the description below. If you like kind of different style, feel free to go with the different ones if you like a different case. But I think in terms of best bang for buck, it's hard to beat this uh, Focus 2 case from Fractal. Now, altogether, this is gonna set you back around $1,528.87. And this PC is going to be absolutely killer, killer PC. Now, for probably about 75% of people out there who want to build themselves a PC for this price point, it's absolutely insane. And you're not going to get a better PC, even when going Mac or any of the other things. It's just unbeatable in terms of the performance. You're going to get 14 cores plus RTX 3060 Ti. It's super, super powerful. Now, if you do have a little bit of extra budget to spare and you're wondering which upgrade should you get and what should we upgrade, then here are my recommendations. For the motherboard, we're going to leave it exactly the same because it's a very, very good motherboard. For the CPU, you can upgrade that to the 13700K, which is going to set you back extra $100, but this will give you quite a bit more performance. And this is actually better than the i9-12900K from previous generation. Feel free to check out the actual 
review of that CPU, it's absolutely insane and nothing really comes close to it even in the competition from AMD. The cooler I would leave the same even with this cooler. We're going to reach quite like the limit of how much this uh, cooler can cool but it's still going to be completely fine. The SSDs I'm going to leave exactly the same as well, two of them. If you do think you need a little bit extra SSD space or something like that, you can upgrade one of these uh, SSDs to two terabyte one, the project one, or perhaps get an extra one because you do have four slots, so you can get extra, but I think I'd leave these two the same. If you want to, you can upgrade the RAM now to 128 gigabytes. So basically get exactly the same kit, but twice fill all the four slots and 128 gigabytes. If you're like a 3D creator, you need a lot of RAM or perhaps even a photographer that needs a lot of RAM. Sometimes even video creators in Premiere Pro need a lot of RAM, then go for that one. That's absolutely insane. The next GPU upgrade now, is going to be a little bit of a controversial one, but if you actually learn and analyze the market, then the best value upgrade is the RTX 4070 Ti. This is an insane upgrade in terms of GPU power coming from 3060 Ti, but anything else doesn't make sense in there. We've got 3070s, 3070 Ti's, 3080s, 3090s, and so on. They are all much more expensive than this card here, and this card beats them by a long, long mile. We can get a Zotac RTX 4070 Ti roughly around $829, $830. You're going to get extra four gigabytes of RAM and much more GPU power. Sometimes the GPU power is even more. For example, 3D applications, it's faster than RTX 3090 and 3090 Ti sometimes. So the power is absolutely incredible, incredible power. Now, it is almost double the price compared to the previous GPU, but you're getting more than double the performance as well, depending on your application. So I would go for that. But if you do go with the updated GPU, I would actually upgrade the PSU as well to 850 watts. I can see a Corsair RM850X going for around $135, so extra $46. That's going to give you a little bit more space to upgrade uh, some of the other components there. Even the GPU later on, if you need to get a 3090 or 3090 Ti or 4080, something like that, a little bit more power hungry, then that's a better unit. Now, in terms of the case, I would leave it exactly the same. If you want to upgrade the case a little bit now, I'd recommend getting some extra fans. Now, depending what type of style fans you like, you can get completely just black fans, get the best bang for buck kind of fans, which are Arctic P12 fans, PST fans. Um, you can just have them 12, 120 millimeter fans, put them in the case completely fine. If you like the circular RGB design, like a ring around, I highly recommend checking out Frag, uh, Be Quiet Light Wings 120 millimeter PWM ARGB fans. They are a little bit expensive, but you can get a three pack for around $85 and put them in the front of the case. For example, you get nice three circles in there and they already included fans from the front, put them as exhaust for up and down. Or if you want to get the cheaper RGB fans, I highly recommend checking out Arctic P12A RGB 0dB 120mm 3-pack, which goes roughly around $50 or something like that. But in total, if you go with even the more expensive Be Quiet Lightwings uh, fans, this is going to set you back roughly around $2,300 and $22.75. Now this is absolutely insane performance PC and probably for, I don't know, throwing percentages out there, maybe 90% of the creators out there, this is gonna be insane power, if, especially if you can get the 4070 Ti. It's super, super powerful. Absolutely insane build for $2,300. It's ridiculous. All your Mac friends will be kind of jealous once you show them your CPU and GPU power because it's, it's, it's really, really powerful. Now, if you have any extra cash or more than 2300, then stop at this point and check out the next video, which will be the $2,500 bill. You don't have to do all of the upgrades. You can upgrade certain things. For example, maybe you don't need 128 gigabytes of RAM, but you like the higher GPU, or you don't need the extra CPU power, leave the same CPU there, but put the GPU in there upgrade there. So basically everything is configurable to your budget, if that makes sense. All of the upgrades are compatible with the previous upgrade. So you can kind of upgrade one by one or later on or so on. So you can really configure this to your budget, if that makes sense. 
And to get the best price, check out the latest pricing in all of the stores in the description below where you can find everything you need in there. Everything extra you need from this video, it will all be linked down below. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate you. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.